I have made fire. Field skill. Check. Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and this video is for uh, Jay over at the uh, Modern Minuteman uh, is having a video challenge. So this is my entry into that challenge. Uh, if you know what that is, well, cool, good for you. Um, if you don't, well, hey, you know, come along for the ride. Okay, so since this is only a 24-hour uh, patrol in a well-known area, we get to bring a lot less stuff on this one. So for my pack, I'll be using the Eagle, Eagle Industries Yote Pack, a uh, great little pack. I do have a GPS in here that's not so much for navigation, that's more for being able to mark very specific coordinates. If I need to record anything or see anything, other than that, that thing will probably stay off and just tucked away because there's really no reason to use it because, again, you know the area. Uh, inside the yoke pack here, I have a water bladder uh, with three liters of water. So there's three liters of water in the pack. We'll have uh, some other water here we'll get to a little bit later. Uh, also in the pack is a PVS-14, uh, so 24-hour patrol, meaning we'll be out there overnight at some point. So we want to have some kind of capability for night vision because that makes life easier. Uh, in the pack, we're going to have two pairs of socks, a pair of skivvies, and one extra t-shirt. And then we have a watch cap for if it gets colder at night. Again, it's summertime, but always good to have on you just in case. Uh, we will not camouflage to go out, but if for whatever reason we decide to change our mind, uh, this is a little compact camouflage little cute makeup kit, so that will go in the pack as well. Short stubby antenna for the big one on the radio, but I have that in there just so I don't lose it. Uh, red headlamp because, you know, again, 24 hours, nighttime stuff, so we'll need a red headlamp. Small little orange signaling panel uh, that we can use for various signaling and near sight recognition symbols and all that kind of stuff. So this is just a small little orange signaling panel. Gun should be properly lubed and everything, but always carry lube. This is extra batteries, CR123s, AAAs, AA's, uh, anything else, oh, and a small little uh, kit that goes with my multi-tool for making field repairs so it has like hex screws on it and stuff like that in order to fix anything that comes loose. Red chem light, green chem light, biodegradable wipes, those are always important. This is just a boo-boo kit. Two other things I got in here are one MRE. Uh, I have only been eating one meal a day for the past like five or six months. So one MRE for me for 24 hours is sufficient because I'm in cut phase right now and we're not changing that just because we're going out on patrol. So just one MRE. And then this is just a little uh, green baklava uh, in case I need to throw this on because I need more camouflage and I just don't want to uh, put camo on or enough time or whatever. Just a green baklava just in case. Last thing for my sustainment load is this poncho, uh, which everything is laid out on. That will be going with as well. That will serve uh, both as my sleep kit in case they're sleeping. I'm imagining there's not going to be too much sleeping. I'm probably by myself. I'm on my own property. It's only 24 hours, so I'm probably just going to stay up most, if not the whole time, especially if I don't have anyone else with me. You really can't go to sleep. Uh, so I'm not really anticipating sleeping. However, if there is uh, sleeping involved, I'll just use this as a sleep kit and uh, wrap myself up in a little poncho. So that's everything for my sustainment kit. Uh, the rest would be my, my fight load here. So here is a chest rig. This is just the Onward Research chest rig. Uh, I have a pouch over here for another quart of water. So it gives me four quarts of water all in. It should be plenty for 24 hours, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, I have a knife here for general field task use uh, and in case it needs to get stabby. That goes on the chest rig. For ammunition, I have a total of seven magazines. Uh, six in the chest rig, one in the gun. Uh, I could carry more in this chest rig, but for 24 hours, I don't really think I need nine magazines. Uh, if there's any issues, we're probably just going to break contact and go back to uh, home base, wherever that is in the property line. Uh, so I'm not really looking for a fight, so that's more than enough ammunition to do what I need to do. Uh, gloves, of course, because you always got to have gloves. IFAC tourniquet. Uh, there's one tourniquet here, I have another tourniquet on the gun, and then I have another tourniquet in my uh, left cargo pocket. So it's three tourniquets all in. Helmet, uh, scrimmed helmet, both for uh, protection, 
but more so for night vision. This is a ballistic helmet, but this is more so for night vision and being able to use that night vision for the other 12 hours of the patrol when the sun is down. And probably the most important tool is a radio. Uh, this is just a uh, Beofang, uh, the 152 knockoff deal. Um, and this has about a seven day-ish battery, so more than enough battery for what we're doing here. But this is probably the most important tool in, in order to radio back to uh, whatever home base is in this scenario in order to provide information. So that I view is my most important tool. That I have run up to a little hand mic and then uh, I can plug that into my ears on my helmet. So we have that covered. Lastly here, we just have the rifle, uh, tourniquet, which we already covered, 3X magnifier, uh, laser, light, cam, and that really completes the rifle. Just an AR-15, nothing special there. On-person kit, pretty simple. I have a multi-tool in my pocket, and I will also have a lighter in my pocket. Uh, field notes, a little notebook here, so I have a place to, again, record notes, because if I'm going out patrolling by myself on a property line, I'm probably just there to observe and report. So, uh, notebook, some pens, markers, whatever, in order to write that down. I already covered that I have an IFAC in my pocket, and that's about it, pretty stripped down on my actual person. Uh, last thing I almost forgot to mention, I'm wearing a watch because, you know, keeping time is important. Okay, so that's all my stuff. So, let's pack it up and see what it looks like when it's all on. step off. Do brave deeds and endure. <laughs> 